Three, two, you don't one. Well, yo, 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 what's up, everybody? What's up, Internet World? Welcome to a little thing that we call the Cypher. The Cypher. I am your man, Marcus the Kid Warren, and with me, as always, is my man, Muff. How are you doing what's today, What's going sir? on? What's going on, Internet Universe? And with us today, again, because we love this brother so much, is my man, Woosa. Say hello to the people, Woosa. How y'all doing, people? Yo, I want to let everybody know that y'all can hit us up anytime y'all want to on Facebook. Just go to Cypher Crew on Facebook. If you want to hit us up on Twitter, go to Kent and Muff 44 on Twitter. Check you can us. also check us out. Send us an email. You can send us an email to Kent and Muff 44 at gmail.com. What's up? Yes, man? yes, yes. That's absolutely it. Okay. Yes. Moving on. What he said. <laughs> We're not here to talk about all of our connections. And hey, yo, while I'm thinking about it, Connection, let's connect together. Send us some of your music. And some of you people out there have been sending us your beats and your rhymes and stuff like that. We're loving it. We're going to be reviewing some of that very shortly. And, right. But keep them coming. Keep them coming. And keep your comments coming. Keep everything coming. We're getting a lot of love from y'all out there. We're getting a lot of feedback. And we really appreciate it. Appreciate we it, love y'all. So just want to let y'all know that. Now let's move into something that we're, that we're talking about. We're talking about people who might be sending us music. Or people who might be sending us beats or whatever. We have somebody in this area, not too far away from here, where we're at, and that's Toronto, which is about what two and a half hours away from here. Not even. We one have, and a half hours. Yeah, one and a half hours. We have an MC time. there. He doesn't well, take the QEW. I think he takes. Okay. I, 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 I'm like usually there half hour. hour. I don't know about him. You know. But anyway, that, we, I digress. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. anyway, we're talking about people who might be sending us music. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking about people who might be sending us music. Yeah. Anyway, as I was saying. Before I so rudely interrupted, we have an MC not too far away from us who's not only from Toronto, not only can spit, not only is a white person. White person. White person, but, but is also, is. but she is also a female. That is that she is. Now her name is Eternia. Eternia. Now her album is produced by this this other dude named Moss. I yeah, me. yeah, Moss. And I, I was telling you guys earlier um, what brought what drew me to the set. Well, first of all, I like Eternia. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Eternia. Was and did some things with Ninth Wonder mm -hmm. when Ninth Wonder was doing a whole thing with the Justice League okay. and Little Brother and all that. As a matter of fact, uh, Caesar Comanche um, had an album that was produced by Ninth Wonder mm -hmm. that she spit on along with Fonte and all these other really? guys. Really? Yeah. So absolutely. she's on that level. Yeah. Oh, dude. She man. She, you hear her when, you, when you listen to the album? She's rocked with some of your favorite MCs before. Okay. So she's known. Definitely throughout the underground and certainly somewhat in the mainstream too. So she has she has those rhyme skills. And Moss, and I was just telling you a minute about Moss, mm -hmm. uh, who's a I think is a dope dope producer, man. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, I got hip to Moss. I'm listening to Big Shug. Okay. Okay. You know that Big Shug is part of the Gangstar Foundation. Uh, Big Shug, mm -hmm. DJ Premier, and it's funny because I I got one of DJ Premier's albums, okay. and whenever you, or not DJ Premier, but Big Shug's albums, and I'm looking at the production credits. You know me, I want to know who did the beats. Right. And <laughs> when you if if DJ Premier wasn't doing the beats, I'm a little salty about. It. I'm like, dude, where where <laughs> DJ Premier at? Right. I mean, he's not the greatest I'm seeing in the world necessarily. I like him. I guess he's in quiet taste. People can, you know, agree or disagree, what have you, but. I've always liked Big Shooks uh, uh, in the DJ Premier collaboration. He just they sound great together. So, anyways, looking at his album, I see that a couple of beats were done by Moss, and I think he actually had one album that was done entirely by Moss. So I'm like, okay, I don't know if I really want to hear this, but man, Moss was killing it beat wise, and he continues to do so on the new album okay. with Eternia that he has right now. So um, yeah, I, I'm all for it. Um, a couple things about Eternia. She has a very aggressive rhyme style for me mm -hmm. for a female. Mm -hmm. right. You know, she wants to let you know. It's almost like she has like this point to prove. You can hear like the Napoleon complex in her rhymes. Kind of. yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm definitely. saying? Like, yo, this yeah. is what it is. I'm gonna let you know because you think because I'm white and female, I can't spit. Well, I'm gonna let you know that I can handle my own, and that's mm -hmm. what you hear in her beat. Now, what's more is beat wise is kind of crazy we we agreed on this a little yeah. bit beat yeah. wise is crazy so i'm gonna give her credit because a lesser mc would have got ate up by those beats okay yeah. you True. know what i'm saying True. so i mean and, and uh and i'll get to some of the uh the lyric part of it but uh where are you staying on the album well, here the, the album for me at first i listened to it one time okay. well i listened to it a few times but the first okay. time i listened to it i really mm -hmm. didn't it didn't grab me, All you know, right. okay. but um, I already knew who Returnia was, mm -hmm. you know, because she's so close to Buffalo, you know, right. and, you know, of course, you know, I know she's dope, sure. but I kept listening to the album, kept listening to the album. Mm -hmm. I never questioned the beats at all, okay. you know, My and bad. I don't I don't know whether I was just tripping or, or what, you know, but I kept listening to the album, 
and come to find out, it's a perfect hold, marriage. Hold that thought. The name of the album, guys, is called At Last, and that's what I was doing real okay. quick. Okay. At I Last. Was, at <laughs> Last. Yeah. You see me turning Moss' album, I'm like, you're going to say, what was the name of that album? I listened to it, and, and you know, I, I, and, and, I was, and I guess the way I was judging it was, was actually jacked up, you know, because I, I guess I was judging it in the first place, and I shouldn't have been, mm -hmm. you know, and I was saying, oh, man, these beats are hard. I'm really not feeling what she's saying, but I know she can rap. Right. You know, but then I kept listening to it, and um, it was this a perfect marriage, man, between the yeah. two. You yeah. know, the beats not kicking her, you know, kicking her ass. She's not kicking beats ass, man. It gels the whole album. Mm -hmm. Then when yeah. you really start to very listen cohesive. to what she's saying, right? You know, like this girl's talking about she's when she very was, transparent, man, talking about when she was fifteen. You know, dude, she was messing with was nine years older than her. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Just real stuff yeah, that yeah. you know, and is well beyond. You know what you expect our female rappers that you know that you're hearing females ra rappers talk well, about. Well, to be today. vulnerable, and so because I think sometimes for a female rapper to kind of let themselves go on their rhymes a little bit is a sign of weakness for some of them. That's why you see so yeah. many like you're not gonna look. Mm -hmm. I'm, let me let me be clear. I'm not gonna sit up there and say I've heard everything that Nicki Minaj has ever put out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I don't know how transparent, and how introspective she gets in the rhymes. But I go by what it is that I might have heard on the radio or some of the, the things that she's put out with you know with, with young mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. And yes, yeah, she does have skills. I am impressed by her wordplay, mm -hmm. but I, I'm not getting beyond that with her. Right. I don't know now, who she is. You know, the thing about Nicki Minaj, man, is Nicki Nicki honestly is she's exceptional. She really is. Mm -hmm. And she is street chick. You know, I remember Nikki, you know, back when you seen her on the DVDs, you know, when she was still just Nikki, you know, rapping, you know. Well, let's let's hold that thought for one second.